Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Dancing Oracle with me, Nishia. I am a psychic medium and tarot reader, as well as a belly dance teacher, hence the Dancing Oracle. I have been doing celebrity reading since my birthday this year in September when I did my uh, birthday twin, Keanu Reeves, and um, since we have the same birthday. And then everyone kept requesting celebrities, including Johnny Depp. So I did a Johnny Depp breed. And I had a lot of women writing to me who are talking through chats and social media to Johnny Depp. They're in love with him and they're saying Johnny had problems with his bank accounts and had to get money from these women. From They're saying, I had to give Johnny money. I love him so much and he's breaking my heart. I think he's sleeping with somebody else. He has other women. Johnny Depp is a wealthy man. I, don't, I, I know he's been through a lot of changes in his life. Johnny Depp is not going to take your money. Johnny Depp would give you money. Johnny Depp is a grown man. He's probably around 60 years old. He's not of a generation that speaks through chat on the social media site. He's a man. He's an adult. He knows how to use a telephone. He's also wealthy and he flies all over the world. If he were in love with you, he would just show up at your door. He would show up at where you work. He would fly there if he felt you were his soulmate. This is what men do, they show up. Men pursue women. Okay. And they often show up <laughs> unexpectedly. So I doubt he's any different. He has the means to do so pretty easily. It would not be a hardship like it would be for me or you to go travel somewhere. Unless you're physically dating him physically. He is not your soulmate. He is this person or people, a team of people. Very often it's a team of people coordinating photographs. They're in different parts of the world. They're making it look like Johnny, or even with, in the case of Keanu, that Keanu was sending pictures of wherever he was at that day in different parts of the world. And then later that person would see it on social media. And what you don't realize is this is a big money-making enterprise for very unscrupulous people, people who are really toxic, have no conscience, who will prey upon the weak, vulnerable, innocent. And they will work in teams and coordinate their efforts to find out personal information about you. Maybe they can hack, hack into your accounts. They cause people to get fan passes for over $1,000, which aren't coming from the celebrities. They're coming from these scammers. These are con men. These are con artists, maybe con women. <laughs> and they're taking advantage of you. And they're taking advantage of your loneliness, of your vulnerability, of your naivety. If Johnny wants you, Johnny will fly over to you. A hundred percent. Johnny will shower you with gifts. Don't give people your personal address. <laughs> I 
have a P.O. box if you really suspect. But Johnny will use a regular telephone. He will FaceTime you. You will hear his voice. You will know it's him. As long as he's in the well-lit area, because some of these scammers put on very special high-level rubber masks of those celebrities, and they film in the dark-ishness so that people think they're FaceTiming with that celebrity. There's also the ability to change voice and everything by AI. So unless you are physically meeting in a public place in your home area, home city, where he comes to you like a normal man would, normal men travel to, normal men will travel far for any woman they're interested in. They will travel hours if they just think they like you. That's how a man acts. <laughs> okay? Well, ladies, they're not hiding behind a, a chat. He is of a generation where men travel far for the women they're interested in. They call the women they're interested in like a normal person of a man of that generation. Maybe you are a teen or 20s and you don't realize that. He is not of a generation that only communicates by chat. And, and no one should be only communicating by chat. It's crazy. It's not, res it, it, it lacks self-respect on both ends. Please don't fall for scammers. I hope you enjoy my videos anyway. If you like Johnny Depp, what you, really, would you really want Johnny? He's a celebrity. His life would be really hard. You'd be in the public eye. That'd be really hard. Maybe you want all that. I don't know. It sounds like a lot of drama to me. But maybe you can think of all the qualities, the creativity, his good looks. Uh, what else? He's self-sufficient. Um, I don't know a whole lot about him. That's all I know. <laughs> but you could think of the qualities that you like about him. Identify that to the universe and ask the universe to bring you a really good man with those same qualities. If you do that, you will find that love of your life. And if you don't do that and you continue to be in these chat rooms, you are wasting your youth. The last vestiges of youth if you're a little older and if you're young, you're really wasting your youth on meaningless, dangerous, vicious people who have their only desire is to take advantage of you. And they don't just take advantage of your money. Women disappear. Women are sex trafficked. People disappear, are kidnapped, and their organs are sold on the black market. So do not be meeting up with any of these people secretly. I don't know what else to say, but I've been hearing too much. Do not email me about this. That's crossing my boundaries. Do not email me. I am not a therapist. Do not text me or call me about this. That's violating my boundaries. And I ask for you out there to get some healthy boundaries for yourself. Thanks for tuning in. Tell me what you think of this.